Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to your uh, normal class. And uh, I would like to give some um, friendly reminders. Like, um, it's, um, it is good to have always your mask, uh, wearing your mask. And if you are, if you feel comfortable or suffocating, also free, feel free to um, release them for a while since we are practicing social distance. And uh, today there will be uh, two lines for the Holy Communion in the middle and uh, on my right side. And uh, when you come for the Holy Communion, uh, receive the Communion and uh, remove uh, the mask and receive the Communion into tongue and close your uh, face. And strongly encourage you to receive uh, Jesus in your hand and if you are uh, if you still want to receive in the time, please be at the end of the line and come at the middle line to receive from me. And immediately after the Mass, there will be, um, I will be available here for the Sacrament of Reconciliation. So I will be here in the Godelupe room. So that's anything else I have to say? Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today is June 13th. The great saint, we celebrate the feast of Saint Anthony of Padua. He was born in 1195 in Portugal, Lisbon. Then he joined um, the community of Augustinian uh, congregation, Augustinian fathers. Later he was attracted by the Franciscan martyrs who died for Christ in Morocco. He joined with the Franciscans. Then, but he, uh, he became ill in Morocco and he came back and his superior sent him to Italy and he lived in Forli for years. And then um, St. Francis Assisi moved him to Padua. And he died in 1231 at the age of 36. Was a great saint and patron for the lost articles and is a wonderful preacher and a great example of humility, etc. Let us ask his intercession for our life, to live a, to lead a holy life. As we gather here to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us pause for a moment of silence, recollecting our sins and asking pardon for our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life, Lord of mercy. Lord, Jesus. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins, Christ of, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord of mercy. Lord mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher, and an intercessor in their need. Grant that, with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. 
Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphan, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. <clears throat> he was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. The responsorial. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the neither world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, Do not swear at all, nor by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your herd, for you cannot make a single hair white or blind. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Saint Anthony of Padua is one of my favorite saints because my mother had a great devotion to Saint Anthony of Padua. In India, like in India, in our small village, there are three churches. One, my, one is my parish church dedicated to Saint Mary, then there is another station church which is dedicated to Saint George, and the other one is a small church dedicated to Saint Anthony of Padua. Every Tuesday, I used to go with my mother to this church, 5 p.m. Mass, Mass and after uh, Novena to St. Anthony. And my mother had a great devotion, especially she requested the prayers uh, for the lost thing, and she always got it by. So I had this, uh, this devotion to St. Anthony, and I also got many things back in my life uh, with the intercession of St. Anthony. St. Anthony, of course, we see him with a, his picture is always with the child Jesus in his hand. He is the patron of lost articles. I heard this funny, exaggerated, senseless joke that uh, when Mother Mary lost Jesus in the temple, she prayed to St. Anthony. That's why St. Anthony is with the child Jesus in his hand. 
And uh, of course, he, Saint Anthony has a great power among the same. He performed a lot of miracles in his life. Uh, for example, like Jesus, he even resurrected people, uh, bring them back, the dead people back to life. And he preached the uh, gospel to the fishes, and uh, many miracles he did. But Anthony's favorite uh, quality that attracted me is his humility. Even though he was a great preacher and miracle performer, he was always a humble sort. He was so obedient to his superiors and always uh, obeyed them what his superiors asked him to do. In today's first reading, we see another great, great miracle worker, Elisha. Elisha was also a man of great humility. We see his vocation, how when or how God called him to, to be his prophet. He was rowing at the 12th row. That is itself a sign of his humility. He was at the end. When we compare this to today's culture, we see people want to be in the front line. People want to be ahead of others. We want, they want to be leaders. We also teach people to be the leaders or leadership training and many things. So, Elisha was plowing the last row, 12th row. And in a culture of selfie, if you take a picture of Elisha, he will be at the end. In today's world, people would like to have selfie and project themselves. If you take a selfie, who will be the first one? I will be. I will be the center. Or I will be in the front line. So let us imitate these two uh, prominent figures, Elisha and St. Anthony, and um, try to practice their humility in our life. Let us pray for the world and for our personal intentions and for the church. For all in leadership in the church, for Pope Francis and for the bishops of the world, and their faith in Christ will be a light to all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all the people who are killed, injured, or left homeless because of the earthquakes, flood, and other weather disasters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For refugees who come to us from far away countries, that we may find ways to welcome them and share with them the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who are persecuted for their faith and for a new understanding among the religious religions of the world, let us pray to the Lord. For hungry and homeless people, and for all who offer them encouragement and help, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. In a moment of silence, let us present our personal intentions that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all those who go before us in death, for light, happiness, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Let us continue to pray for the divine renovation here at Sacred Heart. Father of spiritual rebirth, work your divine renovation on our Sacred Heart parish family. Make us a welcoming community of love, forgiveness, and acceptance to all we need. Inspire us to use our gifts and talents to become a parish of active apostles on fire for Jesus Christ. May we be empowered by your Holy Spirit to share your love with others. Through the sacred heart of Jesus, Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual brain. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lend us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, and sin us exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the form of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of surety, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may more to be co-heirs to the eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, at home by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power and glory of rivers, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of And we pray, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the support of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should adopt my robe, but only see the word and his
Let us pray for vocations. God, our Father, today we have an opportunity by my actions to encourage a vocation to the religious life. Let me to conduct myself in a Christian manner, that I may give proper example particularly to the aim. For the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, may you also support those in a religious life in their vocation of service to your church. May the sincerity of my prayers and my concern for vocations result in an increase of laborers for Jesus and his church. Amen. Amen. For the final blessing, I will give you, I thank you for all, for all your coming here for the Mass, for your participation. And after the Mass, there will be, uh, I'm, I will be available here for the Sacrament of Penance or Confessions. And if you, if you are not attending the Sacrament of Reconciliation, the ushers will guide you to get out of the uh, Pilate Center. So have a good Saturday to all of you and a good weekend. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teachings of blessed Saint Anthony, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.